Hello and welcome to the Discover Primary Science and Maths Awards briefing webinar. I am going to start off the session with a brief overview of the awards and criteria for this year. The awards are part of Science Foundation Ireland's Discover Primary Science and Maths programme. This is a guide for teachers on how you and your school can meet the criteria for each of the STEM steps on your award application form. There are three strands to the Discover Primary Science and Maths programme which are linked together in a holistic model. The first is teacher CPD and resources. As part of this strand, schools can sign up for whole staff CPD STEM education workshops. These are currently running both virtually and face to face. The three workshops cover topics of biodiversity, heat and insulation and space. It brings you through the use of practical hands on learning in STEM topics. We take up to 100 schools annually for this. We also have a huge number of inquiry based learning teaching resources on our website primaryscience.ie. The second strand of the programme is the SFI Discover Centres. These are informal STEM education providers where schools can go for DPSM accredited workshops and outreach. These include the zoo, national parks, aquariums, observatories and many more. Many of these centres offer workshops online as well as face to face, so there are options available for you. The third strand of the programme is the Discover Primary Science and Maths Awards, which we will be discussing in detail here today. In a typical year, we receive around 600 applications. These awards are your chance to get recognition for the STEM education work your school carries out. There are three levels to the DPSM awards. This offers progression and options for schools since many will be at different points in their STEM education journey. The first level is their certificate of STEM. And this is a starter award where at least two classes in the school must participate. For the CERT, there is reduced criteria compared with the other awards. For more information on the requirements, please go to the website primaryscience.ie and download the CERT info sheet, which is a PDF on the sidebar of the page. For deeper engagement, we have a plaque of STEM. This involves most classes of a school in some aspect, and it also includes external science engagement. The third level of engagement is the badge of excellence for STEM awareness. This is for even deeper STEM engagement and focuses on outcomes and impacts on pupils, teachers and parents. The badge award was a pilot for the last three years and this is now being rolled out as part of the programme. It's essentially an extension of the plaque awards where you complete a pre-badge form which sets out, sets out your objectives and plan. And then after you have completed the plaque steps, you evaluate how you met your objectives towards the end of the school year. Everyone who has signed up for the badge application is appointed a facilitator that they can go to for advice. And we really recommend using this support as there is more involved in this award. So in the past with schools who are applying for the badge for the first time, it has been the schools who have gone to their facilitators for advice that have typically been the ones who met the criteria for the badge of excellence. For any of you who haven't completed the award application yet, there are five steps you will need to provide evidence for in all of these awards. Step one is science, step two, technology, step three, engineering, step four, maths, and step five is show and tell. For the STEM show and tell element, learners can present their STEM learning either to other classes, other schools, or at science fairs. This criteria has been reinstated for this year. So where there is no option for face-to-face -face show and tell, it can be done virtually very well. And we've seen some wonderful examples of this over the last couple of years. So we've had schools holding digital showcases over Zoom with parents, grandparents, and other classes. And we've also had schools taking part in virtual science fairs, such as Science Blast, which will be taking place virtually again this year. We will have a strong focus today on collecting your digital log of evidence. Firstly, you will need to register on primaryscience.ie and we'll bring you through this later. The deadline for submission is the 29th of April 2022. Please note that this deadline is not in line with the deadline from the last two years, but more in line with the typical deadline. 
Just a reminder that this award is all about the learners. So we want evidence of the learners work, not the teachers. So teachers written accounts, lesson plans, etc. alone do not suffice as evidence. We want to see examples of the hands on learning by the children. So this could be photographic evidence or videos of the children taking part in the activities. Now we'll go into more detail on the criteria in a moment. But firstly, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch if you're unsure of anything when you're completing your form or when you're putting your log of evidence together, as it's much more straightforward than if we have to go back and seek additional information from you during the application review process. Step one is science. This is the first step in your award. For the certificate of STEM, you must show evidence of three hands-on activities from any of the four science strands in the curriculum. So that's living things, energy and forces, materials, environmental awareness and care. For the plaque of STEM, you need one example of hands-on learning from each of the four strands. As well as this, you will need to give two examples of informal STEM learning if you're applying for the plaque of STEM. This criteria was removed for the last couple of years due to school closures. So please note that it is a requirement again this year. Some examples of what you could include for the, this step include inviting a science speaker to your school in person or digitally, virtual or in-person visit to an SFI Discover Centre, taking part in Science Week and or Space Week, taking part in citizen science projects, and more information can be found on the plaque info sheet on the website. For step two, technology, we'd like you to provide evidence of how learners have used technology as part of their STEM activities. By technology in this instance, we mean ICT, coding or robotics. For the certificate of STEM, you need to provide one or more examples and for the plaque of STEM, two or more examples. Learners might record and analyse data collected during investigations using spreadsheets or graphs, or they might develop a blog, a website or a video to communicate their STEM work. Building simple circuits or taking part in coding projects like Scratch or Hour of Code are also acceptable examples of evidence that you might submit to meet the criteria for this step. Robotics projects like First Lego League or game-based learning, such as Minecraft, can also be used. You could consider taking part in Tech Week. There's some great resources on their website. Or you might investigate renewable energy technologies by, for example, using solar energy kits in class. Step three is engineering. We'd like to see learners investigating engineering in class or in their local area by applying their STEM knowledge and skills. For the certificate of STEM, we'll need one or more examples. And for the plaque of STEM, we need two or more examples. Design and make activities are a great way to meet the criteria for this step. And there's lots of resources on primaryscience.ie if you're thinking about making bridges or boats or rockets. You could invite an engineer in to speak to the class, or you could go and visit local sites in the area to look at things like bridges, other buildings or wind farms. Investigating and developing an understanding of how everyday objects work, for example, bicycle gears, is one way you could meet the criteria while in class. Why not organise an Engineers Week event or take part in Engineers Week using the classroom resources? Steps to Engineering also run a Young Engineers Award and there's details on their website. Step four is maths. We'd like to see learners applying their maths knowledge and skills in practical ways. For the certificate of STEM, we need one or more examples. And for the plaque of STEM, we need two or more examples. Learners might look at using their math skills and knowledge as part of design and make, or during other activities like baking or gardening. Using maths to record and analyze the investigation results for your science work can be another really nice way to meet the criteria for this step of the award. You could consider taking part in Maths Week. There's excellent resources on the Maths Week website, or you could develop your own maths trails around your school. There's templates for these on the Primary Science website. Other projects like Khan Academy, Mathletes and Maths Eyes are also acceptable as part of the work to meet the criteria for this step. The STEM show and tell is step five for the award. Learners present and explain their STEM work to others beyond their own class. This is a requirement for both the certificate of STEM and the plaque of STEM. Science open days or evenings are a really nice way to involve the wider community and parents in this aspect of the award. It's a really nice way to showcase what you're doing uh, with STEM in your school. You could consider participating in a joint event with another school where students showcase their work or you could take part in projects like ESB Science Blast delivered by RDS or Junior Lego League. 
written or visual displays alone don't count for this part of the award. So the key thing here is that learners actually explain their STEM work to others beyond their own classroom. You'll find all you need to know about how to complete your award application and how to complete your log of evidence on the award section of the website. There's lots of examples and video instructions. There's also information sheets that bring you through the criteria for the certificate of STEM, the plaque of STEM and the badge of excellence for STEM awareness. It's a really good idea to download the award information sheet for the level of award you're aiming for. It's just really nice to have this to hand so that you can check the criteria as you're going along and share with colleagues. We'd really encourage you to get involved in one of the national STEM weeks. Engineers week, Tech week, Biodiversity week, Space week, Maths week and Science week take place across the academic year and offer great resources and supports for conducting STEM investigations and design and make in your classroom.